Peace and blessings, brothers. Brothers, this video is for black men who are not married. This video is for black men who are single, black men who have never been married, and black men who have been married, but have gone through divorces and now live lives as single black men. This video is for the Black Bachelor. And in this video, I want to talk about the importance of addressing the situation and the needs and or concerns of Black Bachelors. If you have not seen my recent video on Shannon Sharp, Kevin Samuels, the video titled Singleness, Marriage, and Black Men, please go back and watch that video. Go back and look at what was said about Shannon Sharp. If you haven't seen the video I produced a couple of months ago titled She Destroyed the Contract, go back and watch that video. And in that video, I talked about the the cult and the ideology of the strong and independent black woman and how it emerged and how it came about through the destruction of black society vis-a-vis -vis liberalism and feminism. And let me just add another factor, capitalism. And I'll say more about that in the future. Those videos are foundational to this conversation, brothers. Because in 2021, the population of black men who are unmarried, black men who are single, who are bachelors, is significant. We are a demographic. And we are a demographic to seriously consider politically and economically. We have needs, we have concerns in terms of wealth, in terms of health and well-being, in terms of how we navigate American society as men who are not informed men who are not inside the institution of marriage in the West. Brothers, we have to talk about this because in this space and other spaces, many of us have come to the conclusion based on the divorce rate, based on the high levels of misandry the hatred of black men that we endure in Western societies such as the United States. That marriage as an institution, marriage as something that one actively participates in is a gamble, is a risk. And yes, there are men in our space who are married. And a good number of these men live in stable situations where there's mutuality. Where they have wives who are committed to them and they are committed to their wives and their children. Kudos to these men. These men are the exception not the rule. And a lot, brothers, has been said over the decades about black men who are bachelors, black men who are single, unmarried black men. And what has been said about us has been unflattering. What has been said about us is a part of what I've called in one of my earliest videos, the defamation of 
black men. What do I mean by this? Brothers, if you are a black man who is at least the age of 40, you understand what it means if you've never been married and you have had perceptions imposed upon you outside, demonic perceptions. The assumption that you are some type of promiscuous harlot running in and through every woman that you encounter. That you are just some play or some reckless playboy or you are a loose cannon that has been used to demonize and tarnish the reputation of black men. The other part of it is that if you are an unmarried black man and you're not seen as this super player, you're seen as some down low brother. You're some undercover person. You're living a secret life. You are gay. You are homosexual. You're running with men. So if you're not, if you're not, if you're not pimping and playing somehow or another, you are homosexual. And both ends, both ends defame the image, reputation of black men. But what we have to do right now, brothers, in the 21st century, is to claim and to valorize the black man who is a bachelor. The black man who has decided because of the terrain, because the market, the dating market, and the marriage market are not optimal. In fact, in many respects, they're toxic. You've decided because these markets are not attractive and that these markets are not beneficial or lucrative and that these markets do not warrant your deep investment. You accept the life of a bachelor. Brothers, we hear over and over again, there is a new story darn near every week about some black men, particularly a high profile black man who has lost at the marriage casino. Dr. Dre, the eminent producer, record man, hip hop impresario. Dr. Dre, brothers. Dr. Dre was ho hospitalized, who had a aneurysm. As he went through divorce proceedings with his wife of 24 years. He's going through a tumultuous process of marital dissolution. Tyrese Gibson, another casualty of the marriage game, the marriage casino, where he's lost. And he's gone public in a very emotional way decrying the fact that his wife is divorcing him. And he's made pleas in the public to his wife to reconsider. Luther Campbell, Uncle Luke, Mr. Two Loud Crew, a man who waited until he was in his 50s to get married. Married a woman significantly younger than him. And after 11 years 
this woman who had a baby, her first baby at 40 from him, filed for divorce. Now, brothers, it's easy to say these are high profile men and they live lives different from us, but brothers, what they're going through is simply just a mere reflection of what's happening all across the West. That it doesn't matter what your status is or what type of notoriety that you have. It doesn't matter. This thing is still a gamble. And if men like this are dealing with these type of tensions at that level, you can only imagine what's going on at lower levels. We have to talk about what it means to be black bachelors. And while we're considering high profile men, it's important to think about those who are bachelors, high profile men, who have never been married and men who have been married and who are now divorced living the lives of bachelors. We have to think about people like 50 Cent, Curtis Jackson, who's become a media, media mogul in his own right. 50 Cent who has never been married. 50 Cent, the super capitalist. A man who, just based on appearances, doesn't seem to be on his way to marriage anytime soon. There was also Master P. Master P, the mogul, No Limit Records. Master P, who's made fortunes in real estate. Master P, who's making a fortune selling rap snacks. Master P, who is on the cusp of making a fortune with Reebok. A man who was once married, who had a business that was built on the model of family. A man who right now, when you see him, he is by himself. He is a businessman bachelor. And then there is perhaps the most visible and famous bachelor of them all, who was a billionaire, and that is Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, a man who in his films <laughs> has preached to us, Tyler Perry has preached to us, us black men, the imperative of getting married, who has told us in so many ways that we need to wife up all these single mothers. <laughs> a man who has never gone down the aisle, a man who was a bachelor, he's an unmarried man at the age of 53, an unmarried man who has a child, a son, a child from a supermodel, an Ethiopian woman. Tyler Perry, as recent as December 2020, Tyler Perry talked about the disillusion of his relationship with this Ethiopian supermodel and how he and this woman have gone their separate ways and now he has entered a new chapter in his life and he is looking forward to what this chapter brings to him as a father and as a bachelor. Brothers, there's a lot for us to talk about in terms of bachelorhood. We've got to talk about money. We've got to talk about our resources and what we do with our resources. Investments. 
long-term planning. If you're over the age of 40, you got to be thinking about retirement, what you're going to do after 50, after 60. Think about that. We got to think about health, our bodies, physical fitness, how we eat, how we take care of ourselves. How do we avoid hospital visits and excessive doctor visits? How do we embrace life to the fullest based upon our commitment to good health? Brothers, we have to talk about our lives as bachelors. And this is the space this black manosphere. This is the space for us to talk about this. And there are, there are, there are members of this entity which have dealt with bachelorhood and deal with it at superficial levels. But what I want to do in this space is to take it to deeper levels. So expect future videos, even live, live streams, where we deal with what it means to be a black bachelor. We are a significant demographic in the United States. And we are a demographic that up to this point has not been heard from. The mainstream has not hurt us in a strong and articulate way. And this is the work that we need to do right here. This is another BMI and BMA message to black men. Share, like, subscribe. If you like the work and are invested in it, donate. PayPal, Cash App.